Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and in this video we are continuing our challenge of Adobe XD. So this is day 4 of our challenge and I'm really happy that so many people are following along and this makes me motivated that yeah I should do it more. And first and foremost before we move ahead here are some of the things. Uh, some of the people uh, did really posted uh, their designs whatever they have created. Some of them are really amazing, good color contrast, some of them have uh, some of you have emailed me, some of you have tried to reach me out on my Instagram, wherever you have uh, sent me. I have seen almost all of them. I loved all of them. Uh, regardless of how good or bad they are, uh, they're really amazing. So uh, make sure you just keep on posting me about these things. So let's continue our challenge of day four of Adobe XD. So today I spent a little bit time with Adobe XD and explored a little bit on images so that how we can use images in our apps. Now, of course, you know that in any UI design, images play a vital role. And the more color uh, selection and the images are perfect, the your app is gonna look perfect. So I spent a little bit of time, you can see that we are not following an exact same pattern. Although if I would be making a real app, I would be making exact same design on this tutorial too as well. But I wanted to explore more that how things are gonna look different onto different screen. That's why I'm not just recreating exact same design patterns. Although I could have created that, just replace this, it would have been much more easier. But I think a different process is here. Also, we will be exploring a little bit about the prototype tab and this is pretty good. And if I run this, this is how our app is gonna look like. So let me minimize that for a moment. So this is how our app is gonna look like. We can slide it from left to right and it's gonna just slide like that. And then we have another slide screen and from here user can probably log in. So this is kind of a mock-up preview that we have. Surely we can touch it up, I'll link it up with other uh, sign up, sign in details and all of that. But I think uh, this looks pretty good. So let me walk you through what are the resources that I have explored and I have used in case you want to use exactly the same. So yes, I went ahead and used one of my favorite web website, which is Paxels.com. Some call it Pixels.com. However you like, I call it Paxels. So this is the one that I have used other images and one of the images like I searched for vacation and came up with this image. You can also search for that. Now, by the way, in case you want to use my images as well, so you can go ahead and type this URL, uh, which is pexels.com and you can find tons and tons of beautiful images that I have personally clicked and I have uploaded them and all of them are feel free to use rights. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to recreate what we have done here. And I do have some of my images in my 30 days folder. Uh, I'll be using the first one is this one. Uh, the second is this one. Feel free to use your personal images. Uh, the only advantage with the pixels is they are copyright free. So you won't be getting bashed by anyone for using these images. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're gonna press A on our keyboard and we are gonna get an artboard. So there we go. Let's have some of the artboard. Okay, so let's go into design mode. Make sure you are not in the prototype, you are in the design part. So we're gonna press A and we're gonna have an iPhone. So I'm gonna just keep this iPhone a little bit at the bottom uh, like that so that we can have almost exact same replicas of here. I haven't used grading or anything as in this one. I think this is a bigger, yes, this is iPhone 6, 7, 8. So we're gonna design for that and we need one more so we're gonna have it, okay. So now let's just press V key, select all of them. And what I can do is I can just move this guy a little bit there. Okay, there we go. All of them are now aligned. So what we want to do is first and foremost, we want to have a flat color. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard and we're going to have a nice rectangle. This should be all pretty easy. Remove the border and we are going to pick a color. Make sure you can pause the video and select the color that I have, which is 3070A3. I spent a little bit of time in selecting the colors, I always do. And this is the one that I have selected for this one. Okay. And for this one also, let's uh, pick up a color. So I'm going to press R to design a rectangle first and foremost. So we're going to just have a rectangle just like that. Align it, remove the border. And we are going to select a fill color for that. There we go. And for this one, we will be using images, so we don't need to worry much about it. We'll be taking down this one later on. First and foremost, what I have thought here is I'm going to have a circle, so that should be pretty easy. So I'm going to have an R, uh, E for ellipse. Hold down your shift key and then make a circle as uh, big as you want. Wish mine is 220 by 220 
and we're gonna press V key to select this and drag in like center ish. Okay, and we're gonna press down option key and we are gonna increase option and shift key as well so that we can have another circle which is a little bit big. Now we cannot see that right now, uh, I believe because it's not there yet. So we're gonna move that back to 220 by 220. And uh, almost, I can actually write that, that would be better. So 220 by 220, there we go. And we are gonna align that uh, center, not this one actually. Okay, we are gonna go for this center. There we go. Now I'm gonna press uh, Control C and Control V if you are on the Windows, on the Mac, Command C, Command V. And now I want to expand the size of this one. So there we go, a little bit like that. Remove the border and again align it to the center and a little bit up like that. Okay, we want it to be exactly like there. So we're gonna just take the help, there we go. These guided lines actually help us to get that. Now from the layers panel, make sure your layer panel is opened up from here. We are gonna move this smaller one at the top because in the smaller one, I want to put images here. And for the smaller one, I'm gonna remove the border first. Uh, it's hard to visit there, hard to see it, but you can just drag and drop an image here. So I'm gonna just drag and drop an image here and automatically XD will do. Now there might be some chances that the image that you have selected, you don't want exactly to be like this, you want to move it a little bit. So what you can do is just double click on that and now you can just move it wherever you like. You can hold shift key to move it 10 pixel at a time. Uh, but mine is almost good and I'm happy with that wherever the Adobe XD is placing it and then hit enter. Now obviously you can scale that if you wish, you want to scale that or anything you want to do like that. That is also possible, just hit enter, uh, click outside and there we go, it's, it's all done. Now in this one the actually border is, it looks like a border but it's uh, below a circle. I wanted to have a circle, surely you can have border and then you can increase the size of this border. You can also go ahead like that. Uh, right now it's inside uh, border, you can go for this one outside border. Uh, can use an image white like that and it's gonna look almost same like that. We can hide that for a moment. Uh, there we go. So it looks like the same, but there are hundreds of ways to do it. Previously I did it with the two circles. If you want to do it just with a uh, border, surely you can do that. You can add shadows. Uh, let's increase the shadow part a little bit. Okay, not like that. 15 is good. And for the Y part, I'm gonna go for six. There we go. So there are hundreds of ways you can have two circles, that's gonna look good. You can have a border of white color, which is thick, like 15 pixel. And in case you want to have a dashed border, that can also look pretty cool. Uh, there are hundreds of options in Adobe XD, and I think this one is looking pretty cool. So we're gonna go for this. You can also uh, adjust your gaps as well, in case you want to have uh, adjustment on that. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'll have a little bit increase in the dashed, like that. So the lower the number, the dashes are gonna increase. I hope you are, you're familiar with that. So I'm gonna go for this one because this is newer one. I like this one, this is pretty creative-ish. So there we go, okay. And next thing that we need is travel and this text. So I'm gonna have a T for text. I'm gonna say travel. Okay, I like the white color there. Press V key, uh, escape and V key. And we're gonna move it to the center. Bump it up a little bit like that. Okay, and the next is we want this exact text, so I'm gonna just copy that because I don't have the text. Okay, now I'm gonna press my T key and this time I want a box here, so you can make a box like that. Okay, and I'm gonna press my content here and I think this should be a little bit smaller in size. Uh, so I'm gonna just select all of that and I'm gonna decrease the font size. Okay, that's that's actually line height. <laughs> that's I'm shifting. This is the font. Okay, and I'm gonna just click outside, escape. And you can increase the size and height however you like. There we go, I think I like this one. Press V key and we're gonna center that. There we go. Now the next point about these tutorial screen is we need these three circles. They are pretty easy to do, uh, E. And then we're gonna first draw the center one, uh, however you like, press V key, center that, remove the border, 
And now we need copy of that. So we're gonna press option key and we're gonna drag it. Let's just notify that we are gonna dragging 12 from the center one. Did I drag 12? Yeah, I dragged 12. Now we're gonna select this one option and we're gonna drag 12 from this one as well. There we go. And that's it, we have done it. Now what I have done is, I have selected a bluish color so that it matches the theme and the white for the current active screen of the tutorial. I think these are pretty big ones. So we're gonna just select both of them. And for the fill color, I'm gonna choose again the bluish. Okay, there we go. Now how I did it in this one actually was select this guy, let's select both of them. I first filled it up with the exact same color. Then I got it and then I moved the cursor a little bit at the top because there the brighter part is. And that's how I came up with that color. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. This one looks a little bit odd. I don't know why, but there we go. Okay, probably my screen. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. It looks pretty good. So notice we have done with this kind of border, which is what with the circle. This one has no border. This one has a dashed border. Looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just select that hold down the option key and we're gonna just drag and drop it like that. So there we go. Okay, and there we go. Now we have selected. Now for this one, I would like to remove the border. And there we go. So it looks like, like it's being engraved a little bit. You can select that and uh, you can have like internal border if you wish. Uh, not the dashed one actually, I'm gonna put zero there. And the gap is also gonna be zero. And I don't want it like that, so zero. Or probably what I'll say is if it supports like minus three, uh, it doesn't support the minus yet, but if it would be minus, internal borders, borders are sometimes really amazing. Probably I don't know if I'll, if I'll be able to do it or not. I don't know how to do it. I need to explore a little bit more, but that's gonna look good. As of now, let's remove the border and let's just center it like that. Okay, we don't have any text here, although if we would have some kind of text here as well, that would look good. So I'm gonna right now just copy and paste this. So hold down your option key and we're gonna just copy the same text here. And uh, there we go. Oops, command Z. We didn't copy it. Okay, so there we go. And we'll have exact same text. text. There we go. And center that. Okay. Now we're going to copy these guys as well. So copy them, paste them here. For these one, we'll be changing the colors a little bit. So we're going to again do the same thing. We're going to select the fill, uh, select this guy, move a little bit like top. And for the active one, we're going to go ahead and select white. There we go. Nice and easy tutorial screen. There we go. I'll walk you through with the prototype as well in a minute, but let's first of all take down this guy as well. Now images in Adobe XD are very powerful and they support a lot of options. I'm happy about it. First and foremost, we need to create a placeholder. Surely we can drag and drop it directly as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter much, but I think there is a better way of dropping it. First you create a placeholder for that. Just like it can be circle, it can be rectangle as well. So we're gonna grab a rectangle, there we go, by pressing the R key, remove the border. Now, although we are not able to see it, but it's a place where you can just drag and drop. See, that's much more better. So we're gonna just double click on that, escape and V. Now we're gonna double click. Now we're gonna move it a little bit like center. Okay, looks good. Hit enter or click outside. And now there's an option of background blur here. So you can just check mark that. And if you, instead of the, this default background blur, if you select this object blur, this looks pretty amazing. Although this is really, really harsh on 30, I'm gonna go ahead and slip down that to like 10, maybe a little bit more like five. That's gonna look pretty good. So there we go, nice blurry background. And on these kinds of background, uh, I'll, I would like to have these kinds of button here. Okay, and what I did is I did apply this background blur on this normal button as well. So how I did it, I pressed R key and have a rectangle and then have a little bit corner radius border like that. And then I use this background blur. So that's how I created. Of course, I have removed this border. So that's how I went ahead and these are pretty nice design. Now the text, so we're gonna have a text of sign up and escape, press, uh, we're gonna increase that a little bit. V key and there we go, center. 
there we go nice and easy we're gonna select this one this one press Control G or command G to group them now I can press my option key and make a copy and I'm gonna change that to login now one more thing that I would like to share is uh, we can actually select this uh, thing and uh, we can make a couple of things here like for example uh, what are they calling it uh, they call it as symbols here so what I can do is I can press this guy and now this is a symbol for me so what I can do is let's just say on this travel screen I wanted to have this exact effect again I don't want to copy and paste I can just click on it drag and drop from symbol and there you go you have got exact same thing now the texture is not looking exactly same but here if you'll drag it it's exactly the same so this is also pretty handy I'm looking forward in the next tutorials I'll walk you through with details about these symbols so you can have it you can select anything and make it a symbol like for example this kind of image uh, you can just add it into a symbol now this is all good uh, wherever you like you can just have it like that and there you go your styling is all defined it's always going to be there so symbols are pretty good uh, try to use them as much as possible there we go so nice and easy uh, looking pretty good now it's time to use the prototype as well we are using this for the very first time select the prototype and click on the first one so this is our first notice it's a home here and from here to here we're going to just select and drag now there is an overlay and there is a transition as well we'll study about the overlay later on it's pretty powerful and the transition we want to slide left we want to slide it left and then the new screen should appear select this one now this is the home and from here we want to move here and now we are going to select a side slide left and there we go now from here uh, you can again select this one and can select this guy and you can say uh, slide right and there we go so we can actually come back to one screen at least so let's just try that okay so there we go uh, let me minimize that so there we go we have a nice travel screen and we can just move it like that and actually what is the problem here is my previous screens are actually getting activated so we're gonna just delete that so we're gonna delete that delete this one as well oops command Z so we need to remove these as well and we're gonna remove these as well come on I don't want to remove you okay so this is the one I want to activate this is not the one I want to have it okay probably need to look a little bit like that so let's try to run that again yep this time we are having all of this so slide it like that there we go slide it like that and now we can slide one screen back and there we go prototype is pretty good now one thing that is pretty awesome about this is uh, let me rerun this prototype and you will notice something strange and really amazing uh, let me try that again we are gonna press this play button again and now notice this small recording button I can record the entire interface so I can just slide it like that again slide it like that and I can stop my recording and it it records everything as mp3 so let's just say day 4 save that and I can just say I can just send this recording to my client that hey this is how your app is gonna look like that is pretty amazing I like it I like it can save a lot of time for developers that first you can design these prototype even can send a video to your client that this is how your app is gonna look like okay pretty amazing exploration of almost 20 minutes but that's what it's worth for so that's it for this video please do notify me in my comment section on YouTube as well as on Facebook about these prototypes and designs and that's it for this video let's catch up in the next one